everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is just a quick look at something special. This is the 1989 G.I. Joe Slaughter's Marauders Equalizer. It is one of three Slaughter's Marauders vehicles. We've looked at two of them in full reviews for this uh, special Slaughter's Marauders and Python Patrol theme month, but we haven't done a full review on the Equalizer yet because I didn't have it until recently. Like all Slaughter's Marauders vehicles, it uses the base of an older vehicle, in this case the 1985 Mauler, but they put a lot of effort into updating and upgrading it, so it's not just a straight reissue of the older vehicle. One thing I want to point out is the size. For scale, here is the Slaughter's Marauders Armadillo, which we already reviewed, and here is an action figure. The Equalizer is huge. Of course, the 1985 Mauler was pretty big too, but because of the new turret, the Equalizer is big bigger than the Mauler. Since the Equalizer uses the base of the Mauler, it has a lot of the same features that the Mauler had on the base, with one major exception, and I'll point that out in a moment. Uh, but the Mauler was pretty loaded with features, and so is the Equalizer. We have opening hatches with seats in there. Um, we have multiple removable engine covers. Uh, we have removable panels uh, with storage bins. Um, we have our armored plate on the side. We have the notorious rescue cable. Uh, that's the same as on the Lynx. And of course we have this gorgeous camouflage paint. That's my favorite part of these Slaughter's Marauders vehicles. They look great. Uh, but there is one downgrade from the Mauler. The 1985 Mauler was a motorized tank. It had real treads and if you put batteries in it, it would move. That mechanism has been removed moved on the equalizer. It is no longer motorized. It now has fake treads, but it does still have the old battery cover. But of course that's just a cavity in there, no motor and no place to put batteries. Now we get to the turret, and the turret is all new. This was not on the Mauler. It is very large. It can rotate 360 degrees. Um, it has, instead of one big gun, it has two pretty large guns, probably anti-aircraft guns. Then it has six missiles in tubes. And if you remember the review of the Slaughter's Marauders Armadillo, uh, it does reuse those missiles. There's something I really like about this turret. These weapon systems are linked, so they can both elevate together on a ratchet. That's a nice touch and a nice little bit of engineering, some extra effort on a vehicle that would otherwise just be a reissue of an older vehicle. This turret is large enough you can even place an action figure in the turret. This is another upgrade from the Mauler. Of course, the Mauler was a an upgrade from the Mobat. You may recall the Mobat tank could only hold one action figure in the turret. The Mauler could hold two action figures under these two hatches, while the Equalizer can hold three. I was ecstatic when I got this vehicle. It means I have all of the Slaughter's Marauders vehicles, and I will be thrilled to review this at some point in the future. Uh, there's only one flaw on it. Uh, the, one of the tabs that holds this armor plate on is broken. I might do a repair job on that, or I might just leave it. It doesn't bother me that much. I wish I could have done a full review on this for our theme month, since we were looking at Slaughter's Marauders anyway but I just didn't have it in time. So that's just a quick look for now at the 1989 Equalizer. I hope you enjoyed it. I have full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews every Sunday. I've got another one coming up this weekend. I hope you'll be there for that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, and I will see you next time.